What's up, YouTube? Just Gath here, bringing guys a brand new video up onto the channel. This video is going to be going over the patch notes for update 4.0.1, which they're kind of calling the quality of life improvements following the launch of season four. I have not looked at these. I actually just got back from a week of, of, of staying somewhere for work, and this is like my only day to come back and, and <laughs> do videos. So hang with me, hang with me, hang with me. But yeah, this is the first time I'm going to be laying eyes on these, but I'm assuming. It's not going to be anything too major, but they are going to make some tweaks. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to go over uh, go over it with you guys and kind of freestyle it, give, give you my reaction to these to these things and these changes. And yeah, that's what we're going to do. So first up, we got AI soldiers. Did not correctly spawn during the prologue stage of Battle of 24 2. They were too busy reading the instruction manuals we gave them and we kicked them out and told them to get to work. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Audio. Oh, boy. I, I've complained about this a lot. Resolved an issue that resulted in voice lines remaining scrambled after it. Exiting the vicinity of an enemy, uh, oh, of an enemy Camilla device. Good, good. We've done an audio pass on the X6 infiltration device specifically aimed at addressing audio overload where players place multiple devices in a small area. Thank God. Hopefully that, um, that, that like staticky thing you get in your ear is, is, is gone or reduced or, or, or gone completely. Uh, once you exit the area, <laughs> reduce the rate at which the exit X6 infiltration device uh, registers audio pings upon entering the and exiting an area. Oh, okay. So that's for if you're putting one down. Like, it's not going to go dit, 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 constantly. So that's good. Added more nuance to the noise emitted from the X6 infiltration device, resulting in no longer producing a continuous static noise. There we go. That's that's beautiful. That's beautiful. Gadgets resolved an issue that resulted in oversized crosshair replacing the Claymore. Claymore sensor should no longer trigger through walls. Oh, they did that? I didn't know that. Reduce the amount of healing per second that repair tool replenishes by 15%. Oh, wow. Tracer dart will now last 16 seconds instead of 12. It was 40 at one point. So, 16 is not bad. Fiction issue where the design UI indicator would appear under the world when hitting some gadgets with the tracer dart. What? Fixing issue with the drivers of vehicles would sometimes get a warning in the HUD about incoming missiles if they were designated by a tracer dart. Ah, uh, that, that would happen sometimes. That would happen sometimes. A fixed issue where the tracer dart would sometimes fail to designate moving targets. Ah, oh, shucks. Resolved <laughs> an issue resulted in soul and targets on neutral vehicles being shared across both teams. Whoa, that's weird. It should now be possible to place the insertion beacon with, within smoke. Thank God. That bug was... It, it was happening to Tugs. It was happening to Camilla's infiltration device and a, uh, a uh, spawn beacon. Okay, uh, so we got specialist changes here. Blasco's up first, not really a surprise. Fix an issue that caused Blasco to be hidden from the minimap when firing unsuppressed weapons. You're stealthy, but not that stealthy. I didn't even know that. That's I, I didn't even know that was a bug. I didn't know that was a bug. That's crazy. Updated Blasco's tutorial video. Okay, it should now be possible. Place it, oh, okay, there we go. Her uh, device within smoke. Thank God. Uh, they nerfed uh, uh, Crawford's... Uh, critical repair trait from 100% bonus repair down to 40. That sucks. Irish's Sentinel should no longer intercept C5. That's actually huge. Liz's missile will now correctly detonate and impacting when impacting Dozer's shield. <laughs> Resolve a field of view issue arouse a volatile cosmetic. Oh, wow. That's kind of weird. Lowered the health regen delay from 7.5 to 6. Ooh, that's big. Increase the soldier health regen from 5 HP to 7. Ooh, my goodness. Wow, 7.5 HP. Increase the health regen rate post revive from 5 hp per second to 7.5 hp per second to match the region wow so now so now you might actually be able to play other characters outside of zane mckay and uh who am i who am i trying to think of uh falc because <laughs> you know the med pins for the assault and of course falc has infinite med pins and and and, and such so now some other characters might come into the fray because you don't have to hide for 96 seconds after you take a speck of damage so that's actually good Remove the remaining ADS deploy adjustments for the extended mags. Uh, oh, okay, okay. AC9. Increase the amount of bullets required to kill a medium ammo between a distance from 50 to 75 meters from 6 to 7. Okay, that could be annoying. Increase the amount of bullets required to kill a with subsonic ammo uh, distance beyond 40 by one, 40 meters by 1. RPT. Reduce the amount of bullets required for a kill with heavy ammo under 30 meters distance from 5 to 4. Ooh. So you don't necessarily have to use the light ammo anymore. I still think I will just for the rate of fire boost, but you don't have to anymore. M3 IMR. Reduce the headshot multiplier from 2 to 1.6. Ah. Ah. That needed to happen, though. That needed to happen. I already tier 1'd it, so I'm not too mad. 
SVD, which I haven't used yet because I don't have it unlocked. Reduce the headshot multiplier from two. No, I didn't get to use the SVD while I was OP. No, no. Vehicles. Resolve an issue with the cab brawler not correctly spawning in with the tier one and water wheel vehicle cosmetics. So I was hearing about that. It was like bugged with the tier one, but I didn't know it was also with the water wheel cosmetic. Huh. It's actually weird, but that's all, folks. Yeah, not not too too many changes, just some quality of life changes, like they were saying. Um, some some meaningful ones though, some meaningful weapon adjustments, some meaningful uh, you know, uh, we're really worried about the specialists and the weapons and the maps and you know, the gadgets and you know, obviously audio is important. Other all this stuff is important, but we're really worried. We're really concerned in certain areas more than others. But uh, yeah, sounds like all good things to me, in my opinion. But uh, tell me, guys. Tell me what you guys think down in the comment section below. Tell me what you guys think of, you know, the changes. Do you like them? Do you love them? Do you hate them? Uh, do you are you just meh on them? To be honest. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends. Consider becoming a member on the channel. Check out all the socials down below in the description. Description down below. However you want to say that, I don't care. But uh, yeah, so just guys, guys, and I'll catch you guys next one. Peace out, <gasps> Girl Scouts. <gasps> See you. Bye, guys.